Okay, hi everyone. So um, I thought I'd make a quick video. At least I, uh, my, my aim is to make it quick anyway. It may, prob probably won't end up that quick. Um, so just wanted to share some thoughts with you guys. You know, I'm, I'm here uh, in Tokyo. This is my final night. And over the last sort of two uh, days, I've had an opportunity to speak to over 100 businesses um, that are interested in the Paralympics, but haven't kind of made up their mind as to um, whether they should get behind the games, whether they should sponsor the events, and, and just really why they should bother with, with, with the whole Paralympics um, coming to Tokyo anyway. So I had a chance to share some insights from the London 2012, um, talk about sort of disability and inclusion, and, um, and sort of share some business acumen. And I, I'm, I'm hoping that that hasn't put them off and uh, rather that it's motivated them and uh, hopefully some of them will progress to um, playing their role in ensuring that the Tokyo 2020 Paralympics are successful. So today um, I had a chance to visit a local school called Joshi Seigakun <laughs> High School. Uh, I'm sure that's uh, not the right pronunciation. Uh, Japanese is not my strong point. I, listen, I've only been exposed to it for, for sort of, uh, three days, really, in total. Um, so I was presenting to about 30 uh, young learners from the school earlier. We were talking about um, the, the Paralympics. We were talking about the, the London Games, uh, disability equality, um, and, and, and just sort of general conversation, really. Um, it was a great deal of fun. At the end, yeah, people came up to me and asked a few sort of personal questions which were fine, absolutely fine. Um, and one girl, she uh, gave me a letter. And the letter is, is addressed to me. So uh, clearly this is something that she, um, she had prepared for. And uh, I wanted to read the letter to you. Um, so she writes, Dear, uh, dear Mr. Jasper Dani, hello, I am uh, Sakurako Owaya. Again, okay, please excuse the pronunciation. A senior um, high school student in Joshi uh, Gukuin High School. I'm writing this letter to you because I want to be a parasports manager like you and I would like to ask you for some advice. A year ago, our school made a project team of students which aimed to popularise the Paralympic Games. While I worked in the project, I found that physically challenged athletes overcame the barriers which exist between disabled people and normal people. It encouraged me to want to deliver their passion, beauty and responsibilities to people who are not aware of them. I'd be grateful if you could read the following and give me some advice so that I can make uh, the Tokyo Paralympic Games in 2020 successful. Here is my idea, which I wrote in the resume to a university. And she goes on to write. I want to be a para sports manager in the future. That is because para sports have the possibility to fill the gap between ordinary people and physically challenged people. What made me interested and want to get involved in para sports is my injury. When I joined a study program in Australia, I sprained my ankle. I became nervous because the sprained ankle made everything difficult, especially walking. Fortunately, many of the Australians who just happened to be around me helped me to walk. However, back in Japan, to my surprise and disappointment, people in the street did not help me. They just looked. Through the experience, I came to think of the difference between the two countries. In Australia, it seemed that it is natural for them to accept each other, support each other. In Japan, it appears to me that people don't have enough appreciation or caring attention towards others. To solve this problem, I decided to join a project team in our school. The team aims to attract people to the Paralympic Games in 2020 by making a short movie. While at work, I met Dai Yashorio, who is a para-swimming coach, and I asked him what was so attractive about para-swimming. He said, para-sports are not special to me. I just teach swimming to whoever comes to me. It seemed natural for him to appreciate each difference. Oh, stuck on the page. Uh, appreciate each difference, uniqueness of athletes, and explore the best way to swim faster. 
Our project team also made an original supporters song and cheered wheelchair rugby players. Through those activities, I realised that sports, especially para sports, have power to remove the mental barrier and make people united. Then, what is the power of sports? I learnt it from my experience to manage the school sports day. Our sports day is not only for those who are good at sports. On the contrary, unathletic students can be central players. In short, every student is a component of our sports day. Each of us has responsibility to find mission for our sports day, which gives us a sense of unity. I was the chief leader of the sports day and worked hard to make an environment where the students could feel free to express their opinions and they could make their hopes real. I believe all these experiences will help me to make the para sports management um, is and what my mission is in the field. Then she just goes on to write that she would welcome some feedback from me. So you know what, guys? Forget about some of the terminology which, you know, some of us in, in sort of the disability rights field uh, will probably cringe at. But that's not that's not the point. You see, this is somebody um, who is a young person uh, who's who's on, 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 a, on a very sort of early journey of their life and, and, and certainly in an early journey of their career. And they are questioning they're in a questioning state you know thinking about why the world is the way it is you know why is there this sort of level of difference between people yes she refers to disabled people and non-disabled people but there's a much deeper sense of um her her so her experience and her vision and 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 her questioning and i think that's really refreshing listen i'm i know she's not the first so i'm not making a big meal of this but, you know, when you come to a country like Japan, um, yes, it's also true of other countries as well. But more so, more so, when you meet up with young people and they show this sort of level of openness, honesty, integrity and, uh, and, and, and acquisitive about the world around them, you know that there is a leader in the making there. You know, I don't know what this girl is going to go on to do uh, in, in, in her life. But she's, she's standing on an amazing platform right now, right? You know, she's already thinking about the contribution that she can make to the world. Isn't that right? She wants the world to be a better place for everyone to unite people and she sees the power of sport and how sport can can bring communities together. And in fact, when I was speaking at the school and I hadn't seen the, this letter at that point, um, I sort of shared a similar message that, you know, sport unites cultures, it unites races, it unites people of various, you know, backgrounds. Uh, it, it kind of brings diversity into a single point of togetherness, right? We don't need to be um, bilingual or, um, or, or or anything. I, I mean, sport is a language that is spoken around the world. And uh, yeah, and this is why, you know, I love doing what I do. Uh, I love using the power of sport and uh, um, as a way of changing people's perceptions and attitudes about the world we live in, you know, about the people that live in this world, this bringing to the fore uh, the difference in our the differences in people, and and yet there's commonalities within that as well. So um, I need to draft a, a suitable response to this young girl. But uh, yeah, just wanted to share that with you. And uh, before I go, I want to encourage you as well to really think about the contribution that you are making to uh, to the world. Really, you know, um, Tony Robbins and uh, various sort of you know, business leaders and spiritual leaders around the world talk about the importance of making a contribution. You know, not just being takers in life, yeah? We can all be takers. But it, it takes a special commitment to give of yourself, whether that's in time or whether that's in um, experience or, or some other way. 
you know, and, and I think it's through giving that we enrich our own lives as well, not just the lives of people around us, but our own lives. It gives it certainly gives me um, a great deal of satisfaction, gratification, and uh, and I I, I want to carry on giving more. Really, I want to bring sport to more people and um, and really sort of create that bridge be between communities. So that's it for now. Um, until the next video, over and out.